so I know I'm calling on. Uh, we'll take as many as we can. Um, but I do need, I can see Tim from Sky Sports, if you'd like to start with one Tim, but then we do need hands up, please, uh, if you can use that mechanism. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Tim, you're on mute. Uh, apparently you have to put your hand up so I can uh, unmute you, sorry. Yeah, Dom King first, and then to Tim from Sky Sports. Dom, you're on. <coughs> yeah, again, sorry uh, to start with this. How, how is Harvey? We've seen um, we've seen an Instagram post for him with his thumbs up, but can you give us an idea on, on how he is and um, just how serious the injury is, please? At the bottom of the box, that's one of the few Instagram posts that obviously lock. If you really send that already, that's good. That shows that he has not that much pain anymore. That's great news. I think we all saw it. It's, um, the ankle was not in the right place anymore. Our medical department could put it in the right place again, which is very important really in the moment that he goes quick. Um, that's good. Apart from that, it's not a lot of good things to say about because obviously it was a bad, it's a bad injury. And um, we have to wait now just for the further um, uh, examinations, assessments, whatever, scans. And yeah, that's what we do. Uh, Tim from Sky Sports, I will need hands up if I can ask someone you, I can't do it without that. Tim from Sky Sports. Jürgen, yeah, away from the injury, it was a terrific performance from your side today. 30 attempts on goal, a clean sheet. With the injured players back that were missing last season, do you feel as though you're now showing the kind of form you were when you won the title? I'm not interested in the form we had when we won the title. I am interested in the best possible shape we can have now and I don't even know it so obviously uh, we played a really good game today you're right I thought as well but it was necessary to play a little bit worse a little less are good then um, Leeds will punish you you saw that I think after two minutes there were already two or three counter attacks on both sides like two runs box to box it was that was the opener for the game it was clear it will be really tough but then we um, we pressed exceptionally well that's why we won a lot of balls. That's why we could play from there. Uh, well, I was, of course, far away from being perfect. We scored nice goals, but we should have had more clear-cut chances. We had a lot of finishes, 30, I heard, yeah, and but we should have had more clear-cut chances. But that's not a problem today. 3-0 is brilliant, um, but we, we know we have space for improvement, and we have to do that. Okay, we go to Mark Walker next. Mark Walker. Sorry, Mark. Hi, Jürgen. Hi, Mark. Marcelo said that his game plan, he, he wasn't able to get his offensive players in good positions, whereas your game plan allowed your offensive players to get in good positions. Could you elaborate a little bit on that as to what ex exactly you think Marcelo means? <laughs> Do I have to explain what Marcelo means? Um, um, <laughs> so, at first and foremost, it's nice to get this kind of compliment from uh, uh, Bielsa. Uh, yeah, we did well. We we defended them really brave. We defended them in the right spaces, and that's always how it is. When the offensive players can get on the ball, when you when you allow the passes to the offensive players, our idea was to cut out. Um, Phillips, which is important um, to cut out the passes they want usually to play or they want to find him in the center. Um, and that took a little bit of their, their game plan away or whatever. Um, in, our, in our case, I think that a lot of moments where we won the ball and then we were obviously with the quite expensive um, formation they have in possession, then we used the space quite well to, um, to set our own attacks. But um, I would say without intensity, it's not possible. This is not a game that you, you cannot play that dice like chess. You have to really, you have to throw everything on the pitch to, to make little advantages. And we did that. That's what I like most about the game, that we were really ready. But the atmosphere today with intensity uh, leads is asking for, um, it's a really tough place to come. And we did really well. We played here last, we played them now third time. This obviously was the most convincing performance so far last year we won at home, yes, was more spectacular. Um, the away game here without crowd is obviously completely different 
um, cup of tea and um, it was a 1 1. It was not even close to as good as we were today. So, yes, I'm happy with the performance. Paul Joyce with the last question. Um, Paul, uh, you want me to? Yeah, again, um, a few weeks ago, yourself and a couple of other Premier League managers um, mentioned about the new referee initiative about letting the game flow. Do you think what happened today has anything to do with that or is it a different issue? I, I, I don't think the situation today had anything to do with that. When I speak about... That's why I don't, please do me a favor. Nobody puts now what I say in, otherwise I don't speak anymore, honestly, because if I now put what I say now in, uh, together with the situation today, then it's not okay. So the problem with let the game flow is not that, um, what well, the problem is that players naturally now try to use that. It's a normal thing. If you don't get whistled, why shouldn't you try it? The players don't want to injure each other. They don't just want to go in harsh, in, in hard, proper challenges. And I don't just understand why. why I, I, it was last year. It was not. I, the, the main problem last season was that the game didn't flow enough. And then I, I saw a completely different season. Honestly, if that a, is that the assumption of the season for last year, <laughs> that the one change we need is let the game flow. Where should it lead to? That's a problem. It's not easy for the reps. It's not a clear rule. It's just let the game flow. So don't whistle that, don't whistle this, these kind of things. So I have no problem. England was always famous for that, that lesser things got whistled than in other countries. That's fine. We already got used to that. And now we go to the next level. For what reason? I don't understand it, but oh, that's not important. But I think you ask me, I give to say again my opinion. Fine. Um, but it's nothing. It's okay. Um, it's only my opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.